Hello, everybody, and welcome to this replay casted match. We're here with the new replay system that was brought in with patch 2.4, The Secrets of Space. Brand new, fresh out of the press from Ronimo Games. Today, we're going to be casting a match, and it's going to be me, yours truly, Slow Wolf, and a good friend of mine, Weasel. Say hi. Uh -huh. Hi. I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I waited for this for... You're like long. six months late on that one, bud. <laughs> anyway, we're here no, with... I mean, I'm, oh. I'm, happy, I'm happy to be here with the replay system. I've been waiting for this. I'm excited. I'm oh, yeah, pumped. Yeah, Let's do this! Let's do this! Oh, I'm so excited. This is so good. So, for those who have no idea what's going on, we are currently going to be watching a match on Aiguillon... So, the newest map, with the newest characters. We have Sentry, Ted, and Foxy on each team, and the teams are the best that Awesome Knots has to offer at the moment. We've got Team Three-Headed Monkey on the red team, and we got Team BBQ on the blue team. So, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be an excellent match. Are you ready for this, Weasel? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. All right. One, two, three, play. Gotcha. All right, so they're all coming in the drop pods right now, but for starters, why don't we go ahead and talk about the level Aiguillon. It's a gank-heavy level, and it's got invisibility, and so many people hate it. What do you think about it? Well, I'm actually growing to really love it lately. I don't know why. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble like going through the platform since the middle part of this map is really wide compared to other maps, so it could be a little tricky to wait for those platforms to come up and down for you to actually get to the top lane or like maneuver from it yeah and that's just like you just saw there steve was just kind of hanging around on the platforms airstrike coming out doesn't hit now that is the black hole so they're just zoning each other out right now lots of just mines being tossed out by sentry right now oh airstrike comes out it manages to hit steve well, good Electro Pulse coming out of King Richard, but that's about it. And an Airstrike hitting Fudge in the face. So right now, it looks like they're just poking at each other, getting some, some a little bit of blood drawn, but nothing big happening quite yet. Yeah, the, the, that's the thing with the, the, big, uh, the big shots, as I call them. There's a lot of stalemates at the beginning of, uh, of the matches because everybody's really, really careful. I can see that already, though, like King Richard is going for a farm. Look at his solar rising up. He's already 340 compared to the others. What is he doing? Is he going all around the map and just farming every single block of solar possible? Ooh, big kill oh, coming out and... Ugh, counter black hole did not quite work out for BBQ, but that was really close. Um, good kill coming out on Fudge. Poor guy get, got killed by the pounce into black hole himself, but then the counter black hole out of Makis almost managed to, doing, uh, to do work there. That was really close, but um, yeah, no, you, like R Richard's doing a really good job of farming. Richard's really well known for his frog play as well, and Foxy's fairly close uh, in terms of playstyle. The two of them really like to just go ahead and farm away as best as they can, just so that way they can get to their uh, late game potential as quickly as possible. And I've played against King Richard, he's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, to totally, I agree with that. Uh, I can see we, BBQ is uh, is trying to get a lot of pressure here and trying to initiate together. You can see them actually going up and down together to destroy the droids, which is really um, looking great for them, but it doesn't seem to flinch three-headed monkey right now because they're holding it, they're destroying their droids while having Mr. Pow downstairs uh, making sure that the bottom lane is cleared while King Richard is still farming around up and down. That's Penny for you. Yeah, no, Penny's doing a great job just getting as much farm as she can on both teams, actually. Fudge is doing what they can. But BBQ is playing a lot closer together. Airstrike coming out manages to hit Makis for 36 damage. So that wasn't the end of the world, but that does mean that Makis now has a fairly large sized black hole. They might be able to do something with it. We'll see in short in short order. Mr. Pow going ahead, just getting a little bit of zoning in. And oh, big black hole coming out. Oh. Three people caught in it eventually, but a bigger black hole. Well, no, actually, that was a really small black hole coming out of Steve. But it managed to stop anybody from BBQ from initiating any further. So that's the end of that little engagement. But these new Star Storm Knots, what do you think about them as a whole? Like, you've been playing since a long time. Like, we both have been. And the new Knots have a totally interesting flavor to them. Like, they are technologically speaking, like, in terms of how they're programmed and done together. Oh, wait, this might have to wait out a big airstrike coming out. But, yeah, that's about it. But what do you think about the Star Storm Knots in terms of how the game uh, feels now and the flavor of it? 
Oh, oh the, we might have uh, an air strike down. Oh, no, no initiate on the bottom. Well, I let me tell you, Mr. Wolf, I'm enjoying the new knots, especially Penny. And Sentry seems to be so, so tricky and so cool at the same time. Like, the, 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 the ability to actually go inside and absorb damage for a change and not just, like, be scared of it. Oh, big black hole coming out of Makis, managing to do a lot of damage, but King Richard turns it around almost instantaneously with a good pounce. Makis going down despite the really well-placed black hole. That's really unfortunate for him. Airstrike trying to come out, do some return damage, but eh, nope. No, no one on a uh, three-headed monkey gets hit by it. So right now it's looking really in favor of three-headed monkey. They currently have two kills to none, so that's a good, pretty good start. It's a pretty big start, actually. That's a, uh, what, 60 solar for the person who kills, and then another... 30 solar for each of his teammates, so that's 120 solar in their favor right out of the bat for each kill. And that's two kills, so that's 240 solar, that's already one ability uh, advantage for their team. That, 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 that's a bit of a rack up, but it's not the end of the world. BBQ can come back from this fairly quickly as long as they play well and together. They, they have the exact same team makeup, so they're capable of the exact same play that Three-Headed Monkey is putting out right now. Yeah, totally. Um, uh, let me tell you, I, usually I support the let's all group up together and walk around, but it seems that Three Headed Monkey has a different idea because all three of them cannot deal with two while um, Ted is going on the bottom and keeps sending droids down to the bottom turret. And as you can see, just from the droid alone, uh, there is, they didn't even shoot that turret too much, and only the droids are being sent there and forcing the BBQ to go down and clear it. It's just, it <gasps> seems like... Big Black Hole Fudge go almost down. going down. He manages to get away, it seems like. What about poor Makis, though? Is Makis going to get it out? Yep, Makis manages to teleport out. He's safe and sound. Three-headed Monkey almost getting two kills there, but that was that was a really good Black Hole by Steve. Good job, Steve. Uh, Steve, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Steve's yeah. doing a good job. So is Makis. Yeah, they yeah. both keep landing good Black Holes, actually. They, they've missed only a couple, and for a new character, that's not exactly the easiest thing to say. Have you ever tried uh, playing Sentry yet? Yeah, no, I've tried playing Sentry a bunch. He's really a lot of fun. Uh, I find that he comes out as a counter-initiator a lot of the time. That's his, that's his big deal. Oh, Black Hole coming out. Steve managing to catch someone. So does Makis. But uh, neither of the Black Hole is really doing anything. It just kind of pins the, the target, and that does about 10 damage. That's it. That's all it did. So no, no dice there. Oh, Airstrike coming out. A little bit of damage there. But, yeah, right now, Sentry is a, a counter-initiator. He walks in, he takes a bunch of damage, so he's a tank, and then he deals a bunch of damage with the black hole he just put out. Like, that's that's what he does. That's how the sentry do. And his playstyle is one that requires a lot of aggression, I find, despite how unaggressive his abilities seem from the get-go. Well, as you can see right now, that's exactly what I was talking about. They're sending down droids on the bottom... Uh, from Mr. Pow, he's clearing out uh, the blue droids as fast as he can, while the rest of the team keeps BBQ up, occupied on the on the top. And now they'll have to handle with those two droids that go down in the bottom and still munching on that droid. And there's a big oh, that's, that's Ooh, a lot of death. that that's was a, a lot of death. very very oh. strong play out of three headed monkey there. Makis yeah, managed to get a out. really good black hole, a really strong black hole, but it wasn't, it, it was the complete opposite of what needed to happen there, because then Steve came in and landed an even better one. That completely changed the tone of that fight, they managed to get two kills in very quick succession, and unfortunately, Hancake just could not run away fast enough to stop them from getting a triple kill, so that puts them at five kills now to BBQ's one, which, it's a four kill advantage, that's starting to look pretty bad, it's not the end of the world, there is still a very good chance that BBQ can come back. Uh, in fact, there's another match that we casted between uh, BBQ and JIS that BBQ ended up doing a really good job of coming back. So I fully expect that uh, Three-Headed Monkey here isn't completely safe yet. They, 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 they've got an advantage, but it's not the end of the world. Currently the levels are sitting at 7, 8, and 8 on Team Three-Headed Monkey and 5, 6, and 5, so there's about a 2 ability difference between each of the characters. So what do you think BBQ needs to do in order to come out of this right now? Uh, right now they have to think about who they're going to send on the bottom and because the bottom is being destroyed slowly but surely while the stalemate is keeping on on the top and as you can see the bottom turret for three of the monkeys right now is not even harmed and there goes the blue bottom turret and they're just going to keep on doing it. 
They're just gonna keep on doing it, like leaving two people on the top lane to deal with all the three teammates because they don't leave each other. And I think they should think, rethink their strategy about sticking together and maybe spreading out a little bit more and trying to separate uh, through the monkey because right now it doesn't seem good. Yeah, I agree with you that there seems to be a lot of split push happening. That is the main reason why they were winning early game as hard as they are. King Richard trying to run away for his life. Gets pounced backwards almost into an airship, but King Richard manages to go back the other way to out Juke Fudge. Almost dies. Fudge, on the other hand, is trying to get a little bit more action in done on Mr. Powell, but no dice. Mr. Powell is just a little bit too tanky, and Mr. Fudge does not want to get too close to that shotgun. Shotguns are painful. <sighs> but this this is this is definitely looking like it was a game of split push right at the beginning. Uh, BBQ is sticking really close together, which is great. They need to do that for defensive purposes. Like in order to win these team fights, they definitely need to do that. Team fight breaking out a little bit, by the way. Makus, uh, sorry, not Makus. Steve managing to take a, absorb a bunch of damage, but not enough to really be able to land a decent black hole. Makus absorbing a ton of damage for his next black hole. So I fully expect to that BBQ is going to have a good team match the next time that uh, fight breaks out. But we'll see what happens. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but Fudge is right now alone, and they, they can push right now, and they can even throw another a hole, and he's, I guess he's waiting for Makus to come in, and no, there's no hole yet, because Steve is... Oh, Black Hole coming out on Henke. Yeah. Henke is almost dead. He's got to run away for his life. Makus, same deal. Oh, Makus whiffs the Black Hole. That was a really important Black Hole to land, too. That was a big one. Steve managing to do a bunch of stuff, too. He teleports back down to the bottom. 3 a Monkey is coming together and trying to just do, like, really working on the split push. That's something that, uh... That Sentry can do really well with that beacon, eh? Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I, I also, I'm surprised. I didn't realize that the, the beacon is actually showing you hidden areas. Uh, yeah, it, it does. It's really, really helpful, actually. Um, the thing is that it's visible to everybody, so the other team can definitely mine it up or put sentries oh. or something on top of it, right? <laughs> oh, so, so if I put my... Oh, right, but what if I buy the hidden thing... Yeah, he's got. A, he does have that upgrade that allows the uh, that that allows the beacon to become invisible, but it takes like five seconds. You have to place it someplace that the other team isn't for like the next four seconds, and you have to expect that they'll forget about it. Um, it is a good upgrade, though. I like it quite a lot. It's great for ambushing. There seems to be a little bit of footsie knots heading around in this bottom area, in this in this area of the map. Oh, a little bit of damage coming oh. out. Steve going in for a. Black hole. Black hole oh, managed to hit. Makus is going to go down. Mister Pow almost oh. dies as a return kill, but. Wow. Ugh. BBQ still on the board with only one kill and three had a monkey making magic happen. They've got six on the board. So that's five kill advantage. And that's really starting to show in the levels being eight, 11, and 11, and then seven, eight, and eight. So there's now a, at least a four ability uh, advantage in the favor of three had a monkey. They've got a lot of stuff that BBQ doesn't right now. And that's, that's painful. That's not good. Yeah, although it's interesting to note that King Richard is uh oh wait no it looks like my uh my thing borked uh, king richard's level 13 yikes well that's unfortunate it's, st it's still a little bit buggy but that's fine it happens oh black hole double black hole coming out but no damage really actually from the red one especially uh the blue one whiffing unfortunately but hey that's that's the that's the end of it oh almost got down hanky with that beautiful airstrike but uh he had one bar left from it yeah, Make is getting caught out though. Airstrike managing to catch him completely oh, and kill him. That's the end of the, that's the end of Make Now it's a three v two advantage for three to monkey. They're managing to put in the damage. Airstrike coming out, but it seems to just tickle Mr. Pow. Mr. Pow just does not care. Uh, <laughs> oh, black hole coming out. Tickles <laughs> Henke. Henke doesn't really care too much about that either. No one seems to care about damage right now. Electro pulse coming out. Henke amplify damage on him, but he's just gonna run back and pick up some HP. Fudge almost gets airstriked, but he doesn't quite get hit. Henke trying to make some light work. Happen. No dice. Bit of damage coming out on Steve, though. Steve is going to have to teleport back home. Mr. Powell trying to make some damage happen, but eh, it's not happening either. I say happen Hank a lot. Hank needs to go home, yeah. Henke's going home. Uh, they're left again with two people on the field. Uh, they seem, Three of the Monkey seems to have a lot of pressure right now, and they're on, in lead in the solar. And not by much, but it seems to have a, li a big effect here in the game. It's getting there, though, with Henke only having a six, 600 solar total and Mr. Pow having 900. Like, there's a 300 solar difference between the two Teds. The two sentries have a 200 solar difference in favor of our red team here. And then King Richard has almost a 
actually has twice the amount of solar, just a bit over compared to Fudge. So King Richard putting out another Electro Pulse. Black Hole completely missing, unfortunately. Steve not being able to land it. And now 3 Monkey are going in while all the cooldowns are over. Airstrike's coming out, managing to hit a couple of people. Oh. Steve is low, but it's not quite enough. King Richard is getting shotgunned a little bit, but it's not going to do too much. And the fight seems to be resetting somewhat. Oh, big airstrike coming out though. Make is taking a bit of damage. Black Hole completely whiffing, and Hanke is a bit low. He's gonna have to head back, and so is Makis. King Richard and his team now have a very good opportunity to push. Yeah, double push on top and on the on the bottom at the same time. Gotta gotta love Mr. Powell trying to outrange that turret with a machine gun range. Yeah, and he's doing a he's doing a really good job of it. Machine gun being a really powerful pushing tool for that. And a bunch of fighting happening. Black Hole comes out, manages to completely oh. kill Hanke. Hanke gets caught out. Steve Makis, sorry, trying to make stuff happen. Big black hole coming out, but there's no one to back it up. Their Ted is dead. That's most of their damage. Fudge is trying to run away here. He'll be fine, I think. Makis tries to get oh. some creeps, and he manages to. And then I guess he's just kind of the only one defending for the next couple of seconds as Fudge goes back to heal. So currently there is a seven to one, uh, oh, unless of that Bork too. Oh, whatever. So <laughs> right now the, it, right now it's looking very much in favor of Team Three Headed Monkey. They have two tower advantage. Makis getting a bunch of damage in on him as well. Uh, he he should be fine. He's got plenty of HP though. Definitely has picked up pills, which is important. You definitely want to be picking up pills when you're on the when you're on the receiving end of a lot of damage. And yeah, that's. I'm it seems like oh though, wow. none of them Big pounce into a pulse, into some more damage, into a black hole, which manages to catch Henke uh, and slow oh. him down a little bit. Steve trying to look for another kill, but it's just not going to happen. I mean, Sentry can't chase people too well, so Henke is the only one defending now. Three-headed monkey going in for a three-way, uh, for a three-person push. Uh, they're just doing whatever damage they can. Steve taking a bunch of damage, and it's not and enough to really get a kill. Into the black hole over the turret. Gotta love that. Yeah, black absolutely. Hole. No, I love black hole for that. He's doing yeah, a really good job with those too. And, uh, could you imagine, like, uh, uh, with a penny energy pulse and a sentry um, gravity pull and a cocoa ball, all all shots that go behind walls? That could be potentially crazy. Oh, Fudge is trying to go for this kill, but Mr. Pow manages to get away. Now Fudge is in for a lot of trouble. He tries to pounce. King Richard pounces right after him. Fudge is actually going to be able to get away and picks up some creeps. King Richard going in for another kill. He's got more HP than Fudge, but he decides otherwise. The rest of the team decides to show up for BBQ, and that's going to be the end of that. King Richard going in for a little bit of harassment and on Makis. There's constant action in this game. Like The aggression has not let up at all right now. I know, I know. That, like the amount of, of think play that's going on right now is, is is definitely insane. I can see BBQ is really struggling to keep their droids alive and clear the lanes. But um, as it happened at the beginning of the game, the bottom is being pushed uh, slowly but surely by Mr. Pow. And Mr. Pow is keeping them away with his almost perfect airstrikes. I hardly saw him miss. At, at least he's trying to, to get the droids, and I can see that he's trying to make sure that his airstrikes land at least on a droid when he releases them. That's that's an amazing play there. Being able to hit as many things as you possibly can with air... Oh, wow, good airstrike coming out of Mr. Powell. Great prediction. Uh, hitting Makis right in the face before he can do anything. King Richard doing some serious damage on the bottom tower. Uh, but whenever you have an AoE ability, you want it to hit as many targets as possible, particularly droids. This is an objective-based game. You really want to be pushing as hard as possible. And BBQ, you're right, they're having a hard time clearing out the droids. They're having a hard time keeping Team 3-Headed Monkey off of their droids. And a big black hole coming out, managing to take out the Ted and the Sentry almost instantaneously. Big plays! by Steve on that sentry. Wow! Alright, so 3v1, there's gonna be a huge push coming out. Fudge is not gonna be able to defend this. Bottom tower is likely to go down, making that a three tower advantage for three-headed monkey, and massive amounts of levels. 18, 16, and 17 versus 10, 12, and 12. Fudge almost goes down to an electro pulse there. That was really big. Alright. And look, no, look at Steve's I mean, placement of his beacon. Yeah, it's just like, I'm gonna stay in your base. I'm here to stay. Love his gra his gravity black hole sons. It's crazy. It's crazy. Make is doing some pretty good work of his own, though. Hanke managed to get a kill. Fudge is really low. He's gonna get away, though. The Ted can't quite shotgun him. Mr. Pow unable to put on the aim. That's unfortunate for him. But they managed to do a lot of base tower damage. It's down a little bit more than a third. It's almost half, actually. And... 
Team 3 Headed Monkey just resets, goes home and says, you know what, we can take this. We can just wait a little bit for everybody to come back and be alive. But really good play from Makis there, managing to land a nice black hole into a bunch of shotgun shots by Henke and an amazing Electro Pulse. Like, that, that's what this team makeup ends up doing. It's just using a huge amount of AoE. And I think that's what Sentry's whole deal is. Just use AoE. Get AoE on your team and abuse it with Black Hole Sun. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've seen crazy numbers go from Sentry. His Black Hole Sun can be a really powerful weapon or, like, completely go bonkers. Especially with, uh, with Penny, that amplified damage on the Pulse. Because the Pulse will hit while they're in Black Hole, and Black Hole doesn't deal damage to the end of the hole, it can do a lot of damage. Okay, so everybody's just waiting around for King Richard to come back, and there we go, King Richard's back, coming back down into the match. He seemed to have disconnected, so we were just having a little bit of a dance party. Uh, <laughs> but everything, everything's back to normal, everyone's going back to pushing. A little bit of tower damage coming out in favor of BBQ, they're doing some damage to the top tower. As we can see, the game makeup right now is not in their favor. Uh, they're three towers down, their base is exposed, and three Headed Monkey is out to finish this game, that's all that they want to do. Oh, nice airstrike right there, hitting... Oh, two. Black Hole coming out, Steve, almost taking the run of it, but oh no, Return oh. Black Hole managed to catch out the entirety of Team BBQ. Everybody's headed in. Show. Oh, That goes to show how, how the Black Hole Sun can actually absorb uh, somebody else's Black Hole Sun. It's just like... It's almost like you want to use Black Hole Sun second against the uh, against another Sentry. Yeah, and yeah. that's the end of the game. Wow, that last kill, that last team wipe was enough to just end it right there and then. They didn't need to push all the towers. They just they won it right there. That's all that needed to happen. That was a powerful showing from Three Headed Monkey. Yes, definitely. Uh, you can just see uh, by the upgrades they took on Sentry, uh, three triple damage, the flat damage and the shield absorption and uh, regular damage upgrades all of these will just bring back a black hole sun double the damage if, if if you absorb if you actually manage to absorb a black hole sun it's insane i i can't wait to try that yeah and with penny in particular it's actually really interesting because the amplified damage is just it's so strong and with a guaranteed hit if they're stuck in the black hole <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, that's it from us here at, well, this game. Uh, this is Slow Wolf, one of your casters, and Weasel. Heyo! Heyo! <laughs> uh, this was an Awesome Knots game. This is an Awesome Knots replay by Ronimo Games. Uh, between 3 Headed Monkey and Team BBQ, two of the better teams, showcasing the replay system from Patch 2.4, The Secrets of Space, recently released. You guys can go ahead and check out the replays yourself. It's a lot of fun, it's really easy to use, and it's a well put together system with only a couple of bugs so far. So, I was Slow Wolf, and this was Weasel was as Weasel? well. Sorry. Yes. I'm, I'm yeah, bad. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this was us, and we'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you guys had fun. We sure did, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye!